Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're going to take a look at the Deneve Aurora Borealis, the Soe and the U-Charge projection lights. Now I got to tell y'all the story behind this. If you look in the description, I will leave a timestamp just in case you don't care about the story and you just want to see the demo, take it to the timestamp. But for everybody else, here's what happened. So last night, I ate a brownie at around midnight. Fast forward to about 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm laying in the bed, I'm zoned out. So I'm flicking through channels and I came across a documentary of the Northern Lights. So as I'm watching it, I'm getting mesmerized by the lights. But the only thing is, the guy's voice who was doing the commentating, it was a little bit annoying. So I press mute and I turned on some music. Had some Al Green on in the background. Again, I'm zoned out, I'm just chilling. And I looked out the corner of my eyes and I could see the Northern Lights and it just looks so beautiful. So I came up with an idea of, can I get the Northern Lights in my house? So now y'all know about Amazon Warrior, that's when I like to shop. So I jumped up, jumped on the computer, took it to Amazon, and I started browsing. So I found some lava lamps, I found some kaleidoscope projection lamps, then I came across the Aurora Borealis. So I checked the price, it's $21. So now I usually don't like reading reviews about products because a lot of times people will give stuff one star just because they don't really know how to use it or a lot of people be expecting too much. Like people will buy a $20 Bluetooth speaker and then give it a one star review and then if you read the review they'll say something like, oh um, I only gave this one star because it doesn't sound as good as my Beats pill. Well if you're buying something for 20 bucks. Don't you can't go into it expecting you're going to get the same sound as something you pay 150 bucks for. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to gamble. So this is a gamble video. This one was uh, 22 bucks. So, you know, at, now they have suggested products. So this one was one of the suggested products. So I got this one too. This one was 24 bucks. And then they had the U charge. This one was 26 bucks. So I said, you know what? Since I'm in the mood to try something new and I want to try to get a new effect. Let me just get all three of them. And all three of them, same day delivery. That was last night, they all got delivered today. So we're gonna check these out and see what they look like. All right, so let's just open these up real quick. Now this ain't gonna be a big review. These are just projection lights. All right, so let's see how, let's see how they look. Now, it's not, is it this one or the next one? One of these do have a speaker built into it, but I'm, I'm probably definitely not gonna use that. Let's see what you get inside. Okay, so this is the Aurora Borealis. Now, one of the things I did read on the reviews is a lot of people said, if you want maximum light effect, take the dome off. All right, so we're gonna try it with the dome on and off. Okay, so here's your power button. And that looks like plus and minus volume up and down. You see, it does have a speaker built in. Now, just judging by the weight and the price, I'm assuming that the speaker is gonna be trash. Who cares? We're not really gonna use the speaker. Now you do get an aux cable, 3.5, and here's your plug. All right, so that's that's basically this one. Let's see, yep, just aux plug and your power plug. All right, so that's the Aurora Borealis. Now let's see the Sony. Let's check this one out. Looks like the same, oh, okay. This one, you got a remote control. All right, so this one was about $2 more, but you do get a remote control. I like that. Same thing. Uh, auxiliary cable and plug. Shout out to Xerxes. Xerxes scared the shit out of me again. <laughs> Yo, she be coming in mad hard and fast. I like that though. I like that. Let's check this one out. Alright, so this one does have a speaker too. Alright, now this one basically looks the same. Let's see. Does this tilt? Okay. This one doesn't tilt. Now the Deneve one, does this one tilt too? I could have sworn this tilted. Alright, let me not break it. All right, but it's supposed to tilt. We'll figure it out in a second. And lastly, let's take a look at the U-Charge. Now, let's see, what is this? Okay, now this one, okay, big globe. Now this one, the top one doesn't come off. Let's see, does the top come off on this one? All right, top comes off on this one. This one is supposed to have more of a kaleidoscope effect, but we'll see. All right, so this is what they look like. Like I said, all of these, 26 bucks and under so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video I'm gonna take it up uh, take it up in the attic turn off all the lights and we'll see what it looks like talk amongst yourselves let me find what Xerxes got down there 
All right, now I just wanted to give y'all an idea of what the ceiling looks like. Now I'm gonna turn the light off and we'll do a little demo. Okay, so first we're gonna try the Aurora Borealis with the dome on. All right, so let me just press the button. There it goes. Okay, so that's with the light on. Let's cycle through some of the modes real quick. Now what I will say is, it is lighting up the whole ceiling. I don't know how this video is gonna look in the dark, but we'll see. Okay, that's like the next setting. It's supposed to be eight different patterns. Okay, that one is mostly red at first. Okay, this one flashes a little bit more. More all red, all green. This one looks purple. And that's it. All right, now I'm gonna take the dome off and we'll see how it looks with the dome off. Oh, okay, now that looks way better. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, let me look through the lens and see if, if y'all can see what I'm seeing. Yeah, y'all can see it a little bit. Oh, that looks kind of nice. Now it is, you can see it on the walls also, but mainly on the ceiling. It's very bright. Let's, hit some, let's try some of the other settings. Okay, that one has a little bit of red moving around. Okay, a lot of red on this one. Then it blends to green. Then it changes a little bit over to purple. Okay, now back to red. I right, so that's like a color changing one. This one is a little bit faster. That's all red. All green with a little bit of red. All purple. And that's it. All right, so this is the best setting for the Aurora Borealis. That actually looks nice. This might be... This might be perfect for the Netflix and chill activities. All right, so let me pause the video. Let's check out the, um, the next one. Okay, so here's the second one. Now we'll try it with the dome on. All right, now with the dome on, it's not too bright. Pretty much looks exactly like the first one. Okay, so far these two look exactly the same. I'm taking the dome off. Okay, now let, let me see. This, is this one a little bit brighter? Uh, basically, it looks the same. All right, so this one is the same. Let me just cycle through real quick. That red looks cool. I think the first setting looks the best. It looks more like the official lights. Oh, this one is nice too. Oh, that, that's nice with that red streak. The purple. Okay, so I think this is the best setting right here. This one just looks like some nice mood lighting. All right, so we got one more to check out. Let's check out the last one real quick. Okay, now let's check out the U-Charge. Now this one is really bright and it has two settings. All right, so this is white. Now I'm gonna hit the switch. And there's the colorful setting. This is the brightest one. This is more of a party style light. This one definitely covers the whole ceiling and the walls. This is the kaleidoscope effect. All right, so let me, let me know which one y'all like best. Now, this, like I said, this was a gamble for me. Let, me. let me turn on the other one. I think I like this one better. Let me unplug this first one. I think I like this one the best. This one is more relaxing. This is the Aurora Borealis. I like this one. But hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think.